Hello and welcome to free internship for mechanical engineers. Press tool design with Katia V5. In this video lesson, I am going to introduce you to the concepts of the blanking operation and also the cutting clearance. Blanking is nothing but a shearing operation. The blank, which is a useful product, is sheared from the raw material, which is a sheet metal strip. The force required for the shearing operation is provided by the press machine. For the shearing to happen, we need cutting edges, something similar to the paper punching machine. If you closely observe the paper punching machine, it has a punch and the die. Both the punch and the die has the cutting edge. When you place the paper in between the punch and the die and apply the force using your hand, the paper gets sheared. Similarly, we have a punch and the die in our press tool. We are going to position the raw material strip in between the punch and the die. Pause the video and have a closer look of the cross section view. When the press ram comes down, it applies the force on the raw material strip through the punch. The raw material strip is shear between the cutting edges of the punch and the die. Pause the video and have a closer look of the cross section view. You might have observed the profile of the blank will be the same as the profile of the punch and the die. For example, if you want the blank to be in a circular shape, the shape of the punch and the die opening will be circular. If you want the blank to be of a rectangular shape, the shape of the punch and the die opening will be rectangular shape. Also, we need some extra material all around the punch for the shearing or the blanking to happen. To summarize, we will position the raw material strip in between the punch and the die. When the punch which is attached to the press ram comes down, it applies the force on the raw material strip and shears the raw material and then blanking happens. For the shearing to happen, we need something called cutting clearance. I have prepared an illustration to explain the cutting clearance for you. Let's take a closer look at section view JJ. Let's take a closer look at the detail view L. Cutting clearance is nothing but the gap between the cutting edge of the punch and the cutting edge of the die. A proper cutting clearance is very essential for the shearing to happen. Generally, the cutting clearance will be in the range of 6% to 8% of the sheet metal thickness. For precision blanking, we will provide a cutting clearance of 6% of the sheet metal thickness. For ordinary blanking, we provide 8% of the sheet metal thickness. Many engineers who are already working as press tool designers usually ask me. The companies in which they work have different cutting clearance standards. Which one to follow? Should we follow the company standards or the cutting clearance what you are mentioning? I suggest you always follow the company standards. That's all in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the discussion forum. If you are watching this video on YouTube, do comment your question. Thanks.